Another method of color to black and white conversions happens by utilizing your individual color channels. So I'll click on the channels panel right here and notice the difference between, if I click on that icon, see the that's what the red color channel has given me in terms of black and white luminosities. Here's the green and here's the blue. They all react differently to the light and we wanna capture all of them. So when you go to your channels panel, if your red, green, and blue channels aren't showing up in tonalities of gray from white to black, then you need to shift that because the Photoshop default comes in showing the red green overlays. To fix it, if you're on a Windows machine, you go up to edit and all the way down at the bottom you'll see preferences. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to choose Photoshop and choose preferences. And for either, go to interface. And right here, this is how yours looks if you have red, green, and blue overlays. All you have to do is uncheck that, click OK. It's a sticky setting, so to stay until you change it again. Nice. So I'll start with the red. I'll select that and see how it has, the, it's the only one with the eyeball. It's the one most selected. I'll hit Command or Control A, Command or Control C. Essentially, I just select it all and then copied. I'll go back to my, my layers panel. I will add a new layer, which will be empty and hit Command or Control V, which will load it. I'll double click on that and say red. So that way I'll remember what it is in case I forget. Now here's what's interesting. I wanna go back and copy and paste the green and blue channels, but watch what happens when I click on that channels. Everything is identical. So I've gotta go back to layers and make sure that eyeball is toggled off for the, the red layer and go back to the original color background layer, then click on channels. See, now I see everything and I can click on just the green channel, hit Command or Control A, Command or Control C, come back to layers, add a new layer, Hit Command or Control V to paste it and double click on the name, green, repeat the process, turn off the eyeball, go back to my background layer, choose channels, choose blue, Command or Control A, Command or Control C, go back to layers, add a new blank layer, Command or Control V to paste, double click layer one and rename it blue. So I've quickly created all of the individual color channels and I've got them into my layers panel where I can now manipulate them and use them to my benefit, you know, for however I want to mask or use blend mode to create a really interesting black and white image based on compositing all of the color channels at my discretion. Wait, there's a bonus tip. Now, let me show you how you, how would you export these um, without, I mean, if I said, hey, all of these red, green, and blue layers as individual files to compare uh, side by side or something. Well, essentially, if your first thought is, well, I guess I would, you know, make, this is the red, so I'd hit Command Shift S to do a save as command, and then i name it red, and then click save, and then I would turn this eyeball off. Command Shift S to do another save as, and then name this one green, and then turn that off, and then Command Shift S, name this one blue. Yes, you can do it that way, but you notice how repetitive that is. Photoshop has so many powerful automated features for you. So to quickly export all these layers to files without that repetitive save as per layer procedure, let Photoshop do the work for you. Just click on that lock icon to toggle it off and I will rename this one original. All you do is go up to file, export layers to files. Nice. And it's gonna ask, where do you wanna save it? So I'm going to hit browse. I'm gonna save it here. I'm gonna add a new folder, project one, create. So now that folder's ready to go. Do I want this prefix? Like this is going to give the entire name of that original JPEG in front of whatever the layer name is. So it would say all of this, and then it would say dash red. I don't want visible layers only. So everything that I have toggled on, include the ICC profile, JPEG quality of 12, hit run, and it's done. So I'd go back to bridge. There's my project one. And now look, I have a chronological red, green, blue, and original. So I have access to these files with a quick export layers to files. Hope that helps. Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Go home. Yes! That's awesome! What? You just took one in the jugular, man! Huh. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I did. Is this bad? Is this bad? You should pull that out. <laughs> hey, 
hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here. Yeah.